T.P. Loblaw was born on a farm at Alliston, Ontario in 1872, a fitting start for a man who would give his name to Canada's largest grocery store chain. Loblaw's father died when he was just nine months old. As a young boy, he went to work on neighboring farms to help support his family. By the time he was 15, his mother had also died. Raised by his grandfather, he continued the often backbreaking work he'd become accustomed to, saving what he could over the next two years. At 17, Loblaw moved to Toronto with $20 in one pocket and in the other the dream of a new and better life. He quickly got a job as a grocery store clerk, earning $3 a week. That one job would prove to be the catalyst for all his later success. Because it was here that he fell in love with grocery retailing, and it was here that he met J. Milton Cork, the store owner's son and Loblaw's future business partner. Realizing that he didn't know enough to start his own business, Loblaw began studying bookkeeping and accounting at night. The other thing he knew he'd need was money, so, once again, Loblaw started saving, doing without luxuries like vacations or entertainment. He even refused to pay the price of a streetcar to and from work, preferring instead to pocket the money and walk. By 1910, he had enough money, enough training, and enough experience to follow his dream. So, at the age of 38, he opened his first Loblaw store on King Street in Toronto. But Loblaw's dream didn't end with just one location. It was a chain of stores he was after, and by the end of the decade, he had 19 Loblaw stores in Toronto and in southern Ontario. That same year, he decided to sell his chain to William Pentland. Ironically, these original 19 stores would form the nucleus of the Dominion store chain, Loblaw's greatest rival over the next 50 to 60 years. Looking for another challenge, Loblaw found it on a trip to Tennessee that same year. It was a brand new concept in grocery retailing, cash and carry. This new idea eliminated the need for credit and passed the savings on to the customer. Excited by the idea, Loblaw talked his old friend J. Milton Cork into joining him. The two partners opened the first Loblaw Grocerteria on Dundas Street West in Toronto in the summer of 1919. Cynics believed the idea would never fly but the attraction of lower prices more than made up for the extra effort required on the part of the customer. The success of this first store inspired Loblaw's expansion dreams. By 1921, there were four Loblaw Grosseterias in Toronto. The next year, that number had doubled to eight stores. And by 1928, the company had 69 locations across Ontario, with sales topping $15 million annually. In less than a decade, Loblaws had become the second largest grocery chain in Canada. More importantly, they were running a net profit of about 5%, twice the average made by large American chains. The cynics were silenced, and the face of grocery retailing in Canada changed forever. One by one, the traditional grocery stores changed to this new cash-and-carry format. The stock market crash of 1929 and the subsequent depression slowed down Loblaw's expansion plans, but it didn't stop them. While rival Dominion began closing stores, Loblaw kept expanding slowly and carefully. Staying true to his philosophy of delivering fresh food at lower prices proved popular, especially in those troubled economic times. By 1930, there were 95 stores in the Loblaw chain. By 1933, the number had grown modestly to 107 in Canada and 90 in the United States. That year, at the age of 60, T.P. Loblaw died from an infection after a minor sinus operation. Despite his success, T.P. Loblaw never forgot where he started. He helped found the Stevenson Memorial Hospital in Alliston, naming it after the grandfather who raised him as a child. During his life, this institution was one of the many beneficiaries of T.P. Loblaw's philanthropy. After his death, it received a generous bequest from the Loblaw estate. And so did the Toronto Western Hospital, the place where he spent his final days and where he was a member of the board. Loblaw also left a large part of his estate in a trust administered by the Kiwanis Club of Toronto. The objective of the trust was to help underprivileged boys who had the same start in life as he did. Today, the company he founded exactly 80 years ago is now Canada's largest grocery store chain with over 1,300 stores across the country 
employing more than 100,000 people.